yeah, bam it again. I was like, knock it up another knot. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on guys? I hope you're all super well. I'm back in Plymouth, back in my hometown. Well, at least my hometown for another week. I got off the bus, I'm now heading back home. Ed might be back in around half an hour or an hour, and then I can tell him all about the Dorchester game. I just know he's going to be so hyped about it. Like, he's just going to be over the moon. Like, I just can't even describe it. You guys will just have to wait and see. His reaction will be priceless. Because he just wants the best for me. Anyway, I'm definitely not doing anything today in relation to a training session that involves my legs. But I am thinking that I will go to the gym and do an upper body session. My chest, because I did that last week and I didn't really use it yesterday in the match. So it's worthwhile to go and do a session of that. I'm heading home now. I can't wait to see Ed. I'll catch you guys in the next clip of that. We just told Ed, how do you... Uh, you're stoked, aren't you? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> told him I got one, and yeah. I actually got three. Well, there you go. <laughs> I just said that, um, you know, it's a saying that you wait for a bus for ages and ages, yeah. and then three come at once. Exactly. And uh, the Sheldon's waited a couple of months for his oh, first yeah. English goal, and, now, goal England, and, the, and then three come at once. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's going to be a confidence booster, that's for of sure. Of course. Yeah, so. you know you can do it. Yeah. Hat trick. First you don't just think you can do it, you know you can do it now. Yeah. Good and on a couple of good goals in there. Good I'll tell them about. Good I'll on. tell you them later, but man, yeah. it's a good game. <laughs> Yeah. I oh, told him he'd be stoked. Brilliant. <laughs> he yeah. was jumping around at the fact that I scored one. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, because I know, you know. Yeah, exactly. He's been a uh, bit frustrated. Yeah. You know, so, we could have uh, chances calm and then and then there's been nothing, another chance calm and then nothing. And then, so he's yeah. been messed about a little bit in some ways by some people in the, in, in the football scene and yeah. uh, over here. Finally got my uh, chance. And he's finally uh, come and up trumps. I said to Dub last night, I was FaceTiming him. Yeah. Remember what your wife said? Yes. How she said, maybe you just go there and you have the game of your life and they might sign you. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Spoken into <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really pleased to hear that such positive stuff came out of my wife's mouth. Yeah. Alright, we're going to chat to Ed a bit more later, so I'll catch you guys soon. Yes, and I've got to go. Oh, he's stoked, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I'm really made up today, boy. Brilliant. Yeah. Decided not to go to the gym today. Look at this. So that's 90 degrees. I can only move my arm to there, which is like 45 degrees. And then it starts to wreck in my bicep in there. I stretch it out. And then I can get it straight. And now it's not hurting so much, but I can feel a massive stretch in there. And as soon as I do this, it just wrecks. And then same again for this one. But the thing is, what I was going to do is chest so, which is that. And when I get to the top, it's going to kill me. I'm also feeling a bit sore in my back here. That was probably from the back session two days ago. I assume I haven't injured anything. I'm just sore because I haven't done this gym stuff in so long. My muscles aren't used to it. And the best thing for me to do is get back into the gym, but I wanted to have a good session. I didn't want to just go in there and kind of do a half, 50%, 70% session. So I decided to have a rest down. I've been doing a lot of stretching, trying to stretch this out so that I'm better for tomorrow, where I then can go 100% at the gym and really push myself. I'm confident that it's going to be better tomorrow and I'll just be able to have a better session and that's that. Man, I was stoked yesterday. 90 minutes, hat trick. Confidence is high, I'll tell you that. But it's just back to the grind, really. So I just saw a clip, actually, of Pep Guardiola saying that Napoli was the best team that he's versed. And I said a couple videos ago that Kevin De Bruyne is one of the best midfielders at the moment. He just has an ability to set up goals like no other midfielder. So I've decided I'm going to watch through that game. I might even... That's a really good idea. I'm going to go through it very slowly. It might take me five hours to go through the whole game but i'll go through little points of kevin de bruyne and write a time so i might write 19th second to 25th second kevin de bruyne opens up body to see the whole of the field and the ball and that way i'm learning it's going into my subconscious i'm watching these things and then maybe before bed i could group them into little sections so it's like body shape is one section and then i watch those times that i've written down for about five minutes before bed and then I'm always learning. It's going into my subconscious. My mentor always tells me to watch videos before I go to bed. It's so important. So I'm looking forward to that now. I'm hyped.
it's my promise to you, it's core day today. I'm so, so happy that the core day didn't land on yesterday. Otherwise, I would have been having to do core at 1 a.m. Absolutely knackered and dead. So luckily, it's today. I need to grind that out. I'm going to pick, someone's put in the comments like a full core workout. So I'm going to do that. I just need to get changed into my football kit. Okay, so I've got my computer here with a whole core workout. It's going to be up in that corner. I'm replacing the Spider-Man walks with this. So you start here and you've got to go up, down. So that's what I'm replacing the Spider-Man walks with. I'm going to go with the times that he has and then if I'm still feeling okay by the end of it, I'll just add some more stuff. Bacon and egg with no juice, you're killing me, man. Bit too easy for me so far, so I'm upping 45 seconds to a minute for the last two sets. change up with the leg lifts and then the other one I don't know what it's called I didn't do the spider-man's because I just don't have the room oh, that killed. bacon and egg with no juice you're no longer my friend defriended now no I'm just joking you push me I rate that that was good but don't worry just guys don't worry I got it I think I'm due for another haircut what do you guys reckon it's not looking the absolute best, is it? Especially this part here. That's, that just really annoys me. To be fair though, that was actually a solid session. I got my core workout in. So thank you for that one with bacon and egg with no juice. If you guys wanna send me a core workout to do, it can be your own one, you can make it up. I'm going to try and complete it as long as it's not something stupid. Just make sure I might be able to do it. It's a challenge, cause that's what I want. I don't want it to be easy. Don't just give me 10 sit ups or something. Maybe it's the one that you do. Be creative with it. Maybe just add some stuff on top of what you do. Because I want to get better with my core. Every second day, baby. Anyway, I think that just about wraps up today's session. Sorry I didn't get too much in. Playing 90 minutes for the first time in a long time yesterday. That was big. My muscles are hurting from the gym from the first week back. So I need to get back into that so that I can work them again so that they don't hurt as much. Tomorrow it's looking like an okay day. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. That way I can go to the park and get an arm session in and I'll do the roller as well. So those three things as well as working on that Manchester City analysis stuff, I'm so keen to do that. I can't wait. Maybe I could create something for you guys where I make a little video. I don't think I'd be able to upload it to YouTube because of copyrights, but upload it to some website where you don't get the copyrights and then give you guys access to the link. Something like that. It's a lot of work, so we might have to work something out there. If you're keen for that, it might might be like $10 or something just to get access to it, but it's going to be filled with like 90 minutes of information. If you're keen for that, let me know, because that way maybe I could do a whole thing on it, like not just Kevin De Bruyne, I could do a whole analysis, like maybe even a two-hour video on different aspects of the game, so the possession, the pressing, the centre-backs, the full-backs, all that sort of stuff. So if you're keen for that, let me know. I can make it... I can be cool with you guys. 10 bucks is nothing. That are solid. Also, in the comments, do not forget to leave your core workouts. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Join the journey, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.